Hey you guys out there, welcome to Vape and Cuz, I'm Michael. I'm George. And today we are reviewing the Council of Vapor Royal Hunter RDA. And the Royal Hunter Mini. So here we are, this is the actual Royal Hunter Mini in the box. This is how it's presented in a glass chamber. Um, and also very, very nice and presented there. So what we're going to do, we're going to crack into it, so obviously open it up, like that. We're going to slide this whole box out like that. Okay, so what happens is you slide, well not slide it, you open it up like that. Take this out of the way. There we are, we'll put this to the side. At the bottom, uh, you'll be presented with screws, o-rings, Allen key, or oh, hex, yeah, Allen key, and that's it, in there. Very nice that we've got that in there. I uh, don't know what that is. I thought this was a sticker, but it's not. It's got QR codes, coil heads, and whatnot. I don't know why they put that in there, but anyways, it's in there. You're gonna get a verification uh, sticker there with a QR code, pamphlet, and that color is so amazing, I wish I had that, but I don't. Uh, opening it up. Let me just show you all the directions, how to, how to build, uh, build it, and all that stuff. This illustration right here, I think, is one of the best I've actually seen and read. So that was, ooh, that was very, very nice. Moving everything to the side, obviously that's all the little contents you get in the box. You'll be presented with the actual dripper itself and the Delrin mouthpiece. So let's take out the actual dripper. Right, there we have it. Look at that. It is microscopic. So at the bottom, you're going to get all the uh, engraving or the writing at the bottom. Very nice. Silver plated 510. Uh, this cap is obviously removable. I can't do it because I super tightened it. Uh, and that's basically how it looks. And also in the box, you'll be, you'll be getting um, a replacement. Mouthpiece again, you've got a black version of that as well. The white, so the two options you've got there. Apart from that, that's literally about it. That's what you get in the box. So, that's the unboxing for the uh, Royal Hunter Mini. Now, for the unboxing of the full size Royal Hunter from the Council of Vapor, you have two stickers here on the side that one there, you have the Council of Vapor on one side, and then you have the website on the other one. And stuff, let's open this thing up. Got a sticker there, sticker on the other side, and sticks like that. Box like this, take this out. This slides open like that. And then you can take the whole bunch of stuff out. Same sticker as in the mini. Same sticker. Instructions are slightly different. Inside. Side. Okay, let's put this to the side. Now it comes with this little square that comes off. You got a mini screwdriver, you got to replace them on O-rings, you have a you have a Allen key, you have four uh, Phillips heads screws to replace the ones that came on it, and also you have the option for the hex screws one as well. That's why the Allen key is in here, in case you prefer the other type of heads. To the side, now. Let's try and take this off. This is really tight. Ah, here we go. And that. The Royal Hunter, the full size one, matte and the gold or brass. And in case you want to use your own drip tip, you just put this in there, like that. And then use another drip tip that you have. It was quite nice, little one. But yeah, and that's how it is what comes in the box and how it looks. Close up on this bad boy, you have the adapter for your own drip tip right here. It's made of Delrin with a single O-ring. We have the drip tip that comes with it, the white, the white bore one. See, it's got the spit back protection on it. Top cap slash airflow control. You can use this one on single and dual single ring on the top this is brass 
I uh, don't know what type of brass it is. I went to the website, the manufacturer, the Council of Vapors, and I couldn't find anything. It just said brass. So, yeah, but it doesn't look like it's patining too much. So, I'd say it's a good quality brass. The outer barrel is also brass. You can see it on the inside. See, they left a little rectangle there, so you can see what it's made of. Uh, apart from that, it's all painted in the black matte paint. You've got the air slots on one side and perpendicular to it, you have the ones on the other side. So like a volume bar control thing. You have the engraving there. Quite nice. And you have the deck. In this case you have Philips heads. Uh, you can fit easily a 20 gauge wire in there. Maybe even bigger. Deck is reasonable, yeah, it's deep. I wouldn't say it's the deepest one, but it's deep enough. The insulator I don't think is peak. It looks a bit more like a white Delrin kind of thing. Okay. You can see a bit of the, the machine marks on the deck, but nothing major. You can't really feel it, it's more of a little buff on it. What else? Uh, double O-ring. And on the base you have a silver plated center screw. And you have all these nice engravings. The serial number in there as well. All looking good. Very detailed. And, all. and that's it. Let's put this together. We need to put the build in. Boom! The build is on. Auto barrel in. Dual coil. We're using this dual coil. So. Ta -da. And ta -da. Put on the mod. Boom is in the mod. Juice it up a bit. Yeah, my other cotton wasn't new. This is the stuff we had on it. We're using Clapton coils, just regular cl Claptons. Nothing super fancy. So, this is a Royal Hunter Mini broken down into its little components. There's not much to it, to be honest. That's it. So, starting with the deck, this is the deck. Starting with the bottom, you have got a silver plated. 510 um, center pin. You've got engraving at the bottom that looks really nice. Just take a look at the detail that they, uh, they put in all the work in that. Looks extremely nice. The deck itself, right? <clears throat> Where to start? The post holes uh, are massive. You can fit easily, very, very easily, Clapton coils in there. Thick gauge cables. The um, <clears throat> Hex screws, sorry for the pause. The hex, the hex screws are very well because it, it, it clamps down onto the coils itself very, very well. There is no, um, there's no loose parts or anything that slips out. So again, attention to detail in there. At the bottom there, I don't think that is a peak to be honest because I don't know if you can actually see. Uh, mine's already starting to melt or start to wear out a bit. So, mm, not very good in there at all. It's a very shallow deck, to be honest. There's not much give when you're uh, applying liquid in there. Again, a little negative you've got there. Twin O-rings, uh, quite thick ones, apparently. Um, so there's not really much to that deck. Again, everything's all parallel, everything's all smooth. Very, very well constructed, very solid. Moving on to the main chassis or the main part of the uh, the dripper. You've got the logo there, uh, Royal Hunter Mini. Uh, this is a brass coated with a satin green coating around it. You can tell that because on the inside, I don't know you can see it, uh, you can see the actual brass right there. And also on the other side, nope, there is not. The holes, you've got three slots. Uh, yes, you've got three slots and three holes. Is that three or two? Three. That's three, sorry, optical illusion on this side. Um, and then you've got a brass uh, cutout uh, line across it. Again, on either 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 side. There's no flaws in it, it's very perfect, there's no minor defects. Again, attention to detail on this one very well. So that's the main chassis of it. This is the inner sleeve that controls the airflow. Now, as you can see, it's already, is it the word patine? Patine. Patine. Patine, it's already patined. So I don't know about that. So you've got the option, well this is the only option, is dual mode. You can't have single, only dual. You've got the uh, little cutouts uh, slots in there. 
uh, to allow more airflow to go in because again this is a mini this is very short base you have to maximize the amount of uh, space on it i think that's also to cool down the vapor as is it okay yeah, it's, it's on top of the coil isn't it mm, to cool down the metal uh, outside you've got the o-ring again flat top now this is a massive difference between the regular one to the mini is that the actual uh, mouthpiece does not pop in you, it actually screws in uh, again you have to be very careful because you can easily cross thread this uh, and there you go there's the threads and you slide it in so either option white or if you want to see ooh, there goes the white one the black one here uh, down to personal preferences all Del Delrin uh, the, the regular size <clears throat> has a, a gold or brass like line to it so this one's just plain standard again as well as the white one so again not as fancy quite basic there's not many parts uh, like the um, the regular one so that's basically the chassis of it so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put in some quickly gonna put some um, build onto it bear with me right that's the build there so building this was a bit difficult due to the fact this deck is extremely small do not judge my wicks in there because this was just a quick build because this is my old wicks I'm going to put this in bang it in to show you how it looks like again because the deck is very small you can't really angle it that well We've got twin um, captain calls in there so again that's how it looks like now putting a center cap is the most straightforward thing you line up the holes with the coils you place it in just like that look at it easy as that now the coils are in line with the air holes uh, with the slots, with the slits in there, and then above it is where you can cool down uh, the rest of the uh, dripper. Next step is to add this. Now again, only dual mode only. So you again, you line up the three holes with each other, and oh, that way, and you push if it goes in. Eventually, can't see what I'm doing. There we are, and just like that, it's in. Next step. Now, putting your shoes on, black or white, which one do you prefer? I'm gonna go for the white one, looks quite well, it matches this. You tighten that up like that, and there you have it. So that is the mod. Oh, sorry, not mod, this is the dripper built. Look at that. It's very, very well uh, constructed, built, design features. Mm -hmm. Dripping this thing, uh, it's a bit different to the original one, you can't sort of unscrew this, you have to take the whole cap out. Uh, when you do that, you drip directly onto the coils. Obviously, make sure you don't over flood because this deck is quite shallow. Once you do that, only negative I really don't like about this is that you have to align this precisely to the coils. Again, it's a bit of a hassle and a faffle to do. Apart from that, that's literally it, and it just literally starts to vape. Uh, just like that. I find it a quite sharp looking RDA. Looks very posh though, it's like a, the Queen's Crown. The, the letters are very fine engraved. It's not engraved, it's an indented or what you call it. Engraved. Engraved, yes. The airflow is authentic, a volume bar. It does look. It's a volume bar on the TV. Like we'll show you a close up of that. It looks really good. The brass is. I'm just afraid it will patine after a while. At least it's not in contact with your coils. Very sharp piece. Looks posh. The engraving is really nice and fine and detailed. Even the bottom on the bottom of the the deck, as you will see now. Is very detailed and precise. My voice was kind of going there, so don't worry. I'm fine now. Oh, yeah. yeah, looks really sharp. I really like the looks. Personally, that I prefer your one because that looks much more classy and appealing. Just look at it. it. Looks quite amazing. Now, alongside with the mini, this is a basically a shorter version of. Now, it. I chose the green with the brass. That was the only options I had because that was the most classy looking dripper I saw in the shop. The it's got a white. Delrin adapter or black or black uh, the option obviously um, again it reminds me of I don't know a it's a very poshy looking it's an elegant it reminds me of a 1980s green sofa 
green. That that classy you know that old rich green. green. Yes, is that rich green? You know the the velvet. Uh, Velvet rug. green rugs, not rugs, the sofas or something like exactly, that. Exactly, yes. It, it reminds me of that. Again, Imagine an Aston Martin green. That's a type of green. The old ones. Those cla the classic, classic, yes. the classic ones. Um, Complement with the di uh, with the engraving. Well, the engraving looks like Rolls Royce, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's a, to me, it's just class. It looks really classy. The engraving in that is stupid fine. Yes, absolutely. Again. Close up on that one. Um, it's a thumbs up to that one. Really good. I give that a, yeah, an eight look. out of ten. So I'll give this one a seven and a half. Uh, I'm sorry, that is. So I rated this too high. This is a six and a half, and to me that's a seven and a half to eight, right there. Seven, uh, even so. Oh, I like it. I like that one a lot, personally. That will be my drip of the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll say a 7 out of 10. My personal taste, 7.2. 7. For me, 7. For you, 7.2. For me, that one is a 7.3. Build quality. Very good. There's no burrs. There's no bits of metal hanging anywhere. It's nice and clean. There's no sharp bits. It's all smooth. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing. Build quality is, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, because we, we can never have perfection. There's always something better. You still see the marks on the deck though. Again, I give it to them, as you can see, the build quality is quite well. Um, it's a, well, because I've got the Mini, uh, it's really solid. The only thing is, taking this deck off is quite impossible, due to the O-rings are quite, again, tight. So again, they've overdone the quality over there. Um, when, when it's on, but still, mine's up because, because again, the, the way it's built, because it's a short base, you, you haven't got that much grip onto it. So it's small, but it's a bit too small. However, if you grab it by where the air vents are, you get a bit more grip to take it off. However, I've got this personal thing where you leave grime in there, and I don't want to put it in there. But again, built quite well, very clean. Solid and precise. I'm waiting for you to test which one is harder to take out. All oh, right, I thought you should have shown that off. Ah, oh, that's much more easier. But why? Again, as you can see, I've got thicker O-rings just by a tad, and they're obviously closer together. It could be an optical illusion. But no, they're the same. They're just closer together. Now look how fat them things are. No, they're the same. That's like a big... It's the same. Look, it's all overlap one and the other. This thing has freaking two cheeseburgers. <laughs> it's a Big Mac. Well, big <laughs> short but stubby. But again, it's quite... It's nice to look at because it's built very nicely. So again, for the price... Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Usage. Usage. How do I find mine? It's fine, it's been alright, I've got no spit back whatsoever. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the dripping. Because it's got the spit back screen. So, yeah, it's kind of a problem to drip it in there. You technically can drip it in there, but then you have to blow it out, otherwise you're going to have a mouthful of liquid when you inhale. And then, possibly, most likely, liquid could come out of the sides. Mm. So, yeah, to drip it, you have to take it off, drip it, put it back on kind of thing. Oh, unless you use the your own drip tape. That means it's fine. Flavor is good. Can't complain. Mm. Uh, again, with mine, because it's small, is another story. Because the chamber is very small, when you drip it, you know what <laughs> when you drip it, the, the deck is very short based, so you, there's a limited amount of um, li liquid you can actually put in there. So when you vape it, um, your you it small? doesn't last that long, basically. Yeah. Um, again, another thing, because it's a short base, it gets really hot. There's no chamber to cool it down. So again, it's hot and it doesn't last long. Dripping it is quite annoying. You have to take this cap off. There's If this um, dare ring, if it didn't didn't have a screw there and just that popped off, it would be more easier because oh, the air... that's screwed on. Yeah, this is screwed. Okay. Yours just pop off again because this is a there's not enough room to put O-rings. 
So let's try to minimize the space of it. So again, I have to remove this to drip it. And again, that means I have to, have to align the holes and that's quite annoying to do. Practability, practability of this one is much more less than that one. Again, what you're saving in space. So yeah, basically, it, you I get give, <laughs> practically it's four, four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, because again, it, it's too loose. Yeah, well, this is like a nine. Mm. I'll give this a six. Again, compared to that one, I give that more like a seven and a half. Another thing, usage, because the holes are bigger and the chamber is smaller, you're just getting more air. We get a lot more flavor. You get a lot, a lot more flavor, but again, it's a bit too much. Again, you can, yes, regulate it, but mm, mm, it's, I haven't refined it, refined it yet. So I give it a four and a half. Ease of build. I found it quite easy. There's a, a normal T post, positive post is. Uh, holes for the wires, they're quite wide. Mm. It was alright, the screws were really good though. I think the Philips head is a bit small. It's mm. a bit tiny. Could have been a bit bigger. Kind of thing, more grip. We have the op option to change it into Allen X, X screws as well. Are you able to fit two collector yeah, holes in there? Yeah, the problem with this is when you put the coil, mm. you know, like I don't use the, the two holes close together. I use one and then I leave one and then I put the wire on the other side, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, and the, the wire from the other coil has a tendency to hit the back of the other one. When I'm sliding it in, you know what I mean? Am I making myself clear kind of thing? No, but it's fine. Right. There's the deck, let's say. And uh, I put my coil like that mm. through the deck. And then when I put the other one... Oh, well, they overlap, so they... Yeah, the, they, it hits the coil that's already installed. Up. Yeah. That's kind of a problem with these posts. Mm. Should have done the post one higher than like the simple yeah, post, the si lower the and a oh. yeah, well, like that kind of thing. Yeah, basically that that would have helped situations. Yeah, like a tung 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 kind of thing. When you put the wires, they never kind of hit each other. Absolutely, so it won't hit the coils on the other side. Yeah, because it's all flat. Mm. Again, you got a bigger deck to uh, put enough cotton in there, enough air yeah. flow to go inside. Yeah, it. It's not the biggest deck in the world. But it's, it's bigger not. than mine. I tell you that. Yeah, it's bigger than yours. The deck. The deck. The deck. <laughs> what are you talking about? The deck. My dripper. <coughs> um, yeah, ease of use. I don't know. Five out of ten. Yeah, yeah five out no, of ten. No, five out of ten. That's a uh, eight. Well, compared... To be honest, this is sort of exactly the same as that, but smaller. The deck is much more shallower, so liquid is not that much readily available, if that's a word. <laughs> it's just short. It's just small. It's a bit more short, you know? The thing is, because now it's closer to the floor, you have to push the coils very close to the deck. Again, not touching the deck, but just a bit more shallower. Again, you have, you've got less movement in there to make your, your builds. So With that one, about you... the top of the coil touching the top of the screws. When you look at it yes. horizontally. Yeah, well, mine is the same actually. Still you got more throw up and down. Yeah. But again, it does the job. It is four and a half or four point eight type of thing. It's not the hardest thing. No, actually, the velocities were not velocity, those old fashioned stuff. Remember? Those were crap. You know what I'm saying? Compared to that. What well, to That's a two. Alright. Today's <laughs> okay, to today's standards, this is a five. It's an average. Could be easier, could be harder. Does a job. Yeah. Same problem as this one, just with smaller space. Back to the same. Okay, so I'm using his tank. Uh, his tank. You got my thing. So I'm using his thing for the first time. This smaller thing. This mini version of my thing. Mm. Which has a smaller dick. So <laughs> let's test it. Lots of I've got liquid in my mouth, is that normal? I was gonna say lots of flour. Clouder. I I personally really like the look of this. It reminds I don't know, it reminds me of a baller. Someone that's gonna go to a casino. It reminds yeah. me of Las Las Vegas casino. The roulette. The roulette Yes. The that's diamond. a roulette wheel that Oh it turns. Like airflow control. This is really loose. The airflow is like, like a roulette wheel. Oh, I turned it! No, I didn't. 
So whatever, where's mine loose? Yours is super tight. Mm. Oh my God, that's hard to move. Again, that one is solidly designed. However, with this one, yes, the airflow is a bit loose. Look wise, I, I just like it due to the looks. And also, looks, the look, the, um, the flavor from it is quite nice, actually. Yours is a bit hot though, but it's small. It's got nice flavor. Am yeah, I dry that? Uh, I closed one of your air holes. I'm closing one of mine as well. Let me juice, juice this up. Put the same liquid, so we do this. So airy. Close it up a bit. More. I want to feel you have natural. You have three extra holes on the top. I already closed one of them. Let me naturally vape it. Like how old are they vaping yours? Natural. Life. Okay, I have two holes open now. Naturally, that one is already too tight. So you need to have it fully open to compare it with this one, type of thing. Now three, I'd say three slots. Because you can you can choose the three smaller slots, mm. or you can use the other side as well, mm. the bigger ones. Right. See if I can use the bigger ones or the smaller what ones. What I've noticed with the design aspect as well, that I don't like with this new one. This one has an indentation, where your one, where it has an indentation, has a uh, gold line on it. This is just plain. White or black is, is just plain. Just plain. Oh, you, you wanted to have the diamond things as well. The diamonds, and also if they could have the, the gold paint onto it, or the brass effect. Because that would have made it look a bit more better, especially on the white, or if you had the black on it. I don't know if it's your build, but... We got the same... That one has more flavor. What ohms are you at? Ohms. Uh, I'm at... Uh, 0.44 0 0.37 The ohms are a bit low, but same power, yeah? You 50? 50 Yeah, 50 Believe me, it's 50 I still get spit back with this one I get no Because the deck, again, is very short Very close, and it's just, It's not hot It's just, I'm getting yeah, a liquid in my there's mouth no, There's not enough space Exactly, and then, if you, if you look in here It's just Full of liquid, you probably can't see it, but it's drenched on the inside. Why well, is an enjoyable vape? I'll tell you that it is enjoyable. So, a bit more. Let's try and get the same airflow. Oh, that's, this is way too open. Whoa, this is way too tight. That's the way I like it. <laughs> I get more fuller taste, but less taste. Yeah, it's, it's lesser, but more quality. Yes. With that one, it's just... is the vapor. Take it. This is more... Take this small vapor, consume it within your tongue, and enjoy the flavor you're getting. Nah. 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 You have to close the airflow. Do you? Yeah, invest in a little fan in here because it gets quite vapory in here. I do keep opening my air thing because I'm trying to compare it with this one. Right. Am I the dripper? Yes, you are. They're both. What with this one close cl closed is comparable. I still get more fruity notes out of this one. You do. You do, you do. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're close. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much the same, just where one goes higher, the other one goes lower, mm. kind of thing. Not that one, I think it brings more the, the smooth, the custardy things. Yes, you do. You, you definitely, yes. You sweeter. Do. It's a sweeter taste. Again, you said I wanted to do a, a drip right after that one. This is too tight. Can you stop vaping? Too tight. Leave it as it is. Oh my god. Ah. I'm trying to. One of these days I'm gonna <laughs> strangle you live. <laughs> at least I've got evidence. You guys can watch it at first sight of yeah. it. Here I am, trying to be scientific, trying to do a proper testing. See, Take now, control. Now, now this one is dry as well. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Okay, one puff. Two puffs. One puff in that one. Three Come puffs. On. Oh, 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 oh. One puff. 
Now we'll puff on that one. Pretty awesome fish for me. Now give me that one. That's still ultra fish for me. Ultra fish. The warm one, this one. It's creamier. It's, it's more concentrated, this one. This one is creamier, this one is fruitier. Mm. Yes, no doubt. Oh yes, you are correct. Yeah, this one is creamier, this one is fruitier. So, but I, I, why is like by yeah. a half a percent? Yeah, almost the same. Probably the build is... You know, what, change. personally, which one would you rather have? Like in taste-wise, build and ease of use? In the general? bigger one. You'll have the bigger one? I'll have the bigger one, yes. Yeah. Ease of use and stuff because I can just pop it off. And it's cheaper because my one is £29.99 or 30 quid. And yours is 24 99 so or 25 you, you save yourself £5 by getting something that looks better. It, again, if this was black... You mm, have the, the option of the black version. Yeah, I do have the option of the black one and I've seen the picture of it. It does look quite swell. Yeah, yeah we'll put the pictures now, you know, of the different colours. Almost wise, they're the same. I, I still prefer the big one. Some weird reason for the big one. Really? I don't know. Well, I, don't. Well, I don't like the spit back that you're getting from it. To be honest, from the small one. All right, yeah. Um, I prefer the black one. A uh, uh, big, big one. It's yeah. much better. So, rate it. In overall, everything compared to all the other drippers I've used and all everything. I contradicted myself so much in that just past like. He talks too much. Yes, I just skip forward if you. More. The thing is, I'm judging while I'm going. Out of 10, I'll give this a... Well, I have to put in mind, like, perfection. Perfection being a 10. Mm. And there is no perfect dripper. Let's so, pull for a second. Let, we're going to have a little... A little think about it. Dun, dun, dun. So, after talking... We were doing quite a lot talking. Yeah. Uh, we decided on going for... How much you give yours? There's so many numbers, we <laughs> talked about so many numbers. I mean, that was a 5.8 and that was a 6.5. Yeah, 5.8, that was it. And a 6.5. And, and we're comparing it, well, at least I am. It doesn't have one of these, the velocity. That's and, our benchmark, by the way. Yeah, because despite me not use, I don't use it that much because of the looks. It looks like a freaking robot. That's the only thing. I like it. it, it looks funny. Yeah, but what the hell? Hello? <laughs> Anyways. It's sort of, for now, it's our benchmark because it's known to be quite good at what it does. Yeah, so, and this one gets an 8, in our opinion. This one's a 6.5, 5.8. Yeah. That's it, that's our final mark. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are Vaping Cuz. I'm Michael. I'm George. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like our video. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Just on a side note, uh, there's a few things we're going to say. Yeah. There's a Facebook kind of web page now, not web page, your yeah. site. It's just a website. site, yeah. Like Facebook, but it's for vapors only. It's called the Vape Dom. Okay. Great. I say Vape Dom. He says Vape Dom. There's a Vape Dom, Vape Dom. Same thing. Know. Yeah, Vape D O M. The Vape D O M. Uh, we'll put the link in here on the bottom. So what 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 is it? What does it do? It's like Facebook. Imagine Facebook, mm. but the name is not Facebook. Right. It's Vape Dom or Vape Dom. So again, everyone gathering, we we'll talk about mods, uh, liquids, everything to do with yeah, there's vaping. Everything. Absolutely, yeah, there's no faffing around. Everything to, to vaping. Mm. And so on, yeah. And another very important, if you're here in the UK, there is a petition going on uh, for the parliaments. Uh, so currently, we are almost at 5,000? Anyways, we need 298 more people to uh, vote, to say yes. Basically what it is, they're trying to ban liquids, um, so you can't buy bottles like this. It has to be um, concealed, like, atomizers. So it has a limit of liquid in there, the flavour, and the percentage of nicotine. So basically you're going to be vaping air, water. Like that, basically, nothing. Uh, again, it's going to protect us because we won't be able to buy liquids uh, very relatively, relatively readily available. That's the word. It's going to make our life suck, basically. Everything's going to be boring and plain, and, and there's going to be no vaping. And yeah, just li the link will be below, below there. So all you have to do is first name, second name, postcode, and email, email. and that's and it. then you'll get an email. 
back just and you to confirm that that's click your confirm. mail. Click it, that's it. It it's only the takes most, like a minute. It sounds long, but it's the most easiest thing to do. Literally, please just go in there, go down there on the link, click it, do it. Yeah, these petitions you see on Facebook and stuff all the time. Most people just say, ah, everybody else signs it, I'm not gonna Honestly, bother. Yeah, but the problem is that most people think the same thing. It's just, ah, I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna Because currently, I'm not gonna we're, we're, it's gonna go to our MPs. And then if you get a bit more votes, like uh, 10,000 votes, it's going to go to like... Um, yeah, they have to uh, uh, review the situation yeah, re yeah, and review the it. And then afterwards it can go to parliament and then afterwards... Yeah, for that, that I think you need 100,000. 100,000, yeah. 100, but so every, every vote helps, so please, if you care about vaping or you just... If you enjoy vaping the way you are vaping, vaping right general, now, just, just go in there and do the petition. Literally please. two minutes of your life, click it. <laughs> Shut up! Shut your beak! Shut your... <laughs> so my side is clean and yours is a summer bit loud. Oh, shut up. What does that mean? You got fur! Do I have a beard? Is it freaking... And uh, You want me to lick it clean? Oh my god, I even made it worse! How's my tongue dirty? <laughs> Take forever. Oh, right, let me just vape this. <laughs> Why do I have to pop for you, man? Yeah, the table should be more to this side. Wet. Should Wet. we uh, have our Wet shit shit. in this? Hey, you guys out there! I might. Fuck you. Oh, sorry. We are reviewing the Royal Look. Hunter. Mini. The Royal Hunter. I thought you're not, I thought you're not gonna remember that name. I kinda look at it. All oh, right. Royal Hunter. Mini. V1. There is no V2. Is well, it? it's a Mini, so there should be... <laughs> Next scene. Unboxing. <laughs> Very nice and dandy. And last but not least... What the hell is dandy? I don't know what dandy is, but it's dandy. That's freaking brass. I don't know. I literally... Four hours ago, I picked up, picked that up from a shop. So both of us have no clues what this is. So the detail is so small. Mm. 2013. Where? Oh my goodness! From your elbows. What the hell is wrong with you? What have you been doing with your elbows? Let's vape. You yes, know what? Done. It's your test. That's it. It's done. 